So, just got home to the dinner say no. Some errands, Christmas Eve. And this guy is going in right now. I just, I don't even want to eat it. Like, I just want to look at it. Like, it looks so good. And, this, and we're not even done yet. <laughs> <laughs> My life is real, B. I hear that. Some people so. be like, oh, see, when I cook for the family, you have to cook like big pots. Uh huh. Groceries is crazy. We're not even done yet. So, yo, what about the fish? What, what will we do here after we take it out of the fridge? Okay, first, I just put that, I season it again, put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, came out to this. But, I'm gonna let it go back and chill in the oven for a little minute. Mm -hmm. Wow, that got poison, man. See that? Heat. If it's too hot in the kitchen, you gotta get out. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not, the food is looking too good, I can't get out. Damn. Alright, we're back for episode two with Chef Tail. <laughs> so he doesn't have a name yet. But he's in there cooking. Alright, so see we got some uh some wood over here. Alright, so what's the uh, so how do you prepare this one right here? Get a baguette. Uh-huh. It was like a dollar for the baguette. Yeah. Cut that in the middle, mm -hmm. split it down the line, mm -hmm. take butter, mm -hmm. take um, parsley or any like green switch that you can get, mm -hmm. and garlic butter, mix it together, whip it on it, create some mm -hmm. marble cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. and put it on it. Mm -hmm. Salt based style though, we're gonna do a salt based style. Alright, and over here, what do you got over here? Gotta strip the veggies out. I'm just trying to make that get a vibe. Mm -hmm. Got some fried rice. I got to work with what I got. Right, so I'm gonna put it in the pan, get it all together. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a blessing. Uh huh. Okay, so we got some. It's basically all vegetables, shrimp in here, and then just sauteed up. Yep. And just cooking what on low, high, medium. What's the plan? <laughs> What's the plan of the rice? Basically, I don't want to do no more butter with it or no oil. So I'm using basically the flour mm -hmm. to give it that vibe. Yeah. Mix it all together, put some soy sauce in it. Uh -huh. You'll see, you see, you see the after. Oh, we will. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. My rice right now is going to that pot. Make some more. Mm -hmm. So not only do we make it fly in the kitchen, we make it fly in the streets as well. You know what I mean? So be that for and does it. So, this man swag is straight. White tees, <laughs> jeans, and Air Forces. Man has every single color of Air Forces that exist once. Like, yo, okay, let me show you guys, okay? Look at this. What are those? Some, where did this guy get this? I've never seen this in my life. Shout out to my lady. <laughs> she came almost like, your babies are hot. Like, they, they are hot. hot. <laughs> Red velvet. Like, Red velvet madness right there. This is basically jeans, black, white, whatever tee, long mm -hmm. sleeve shirts, hoodies, screw mm -hmm. bags. You know what I mean? I went through yeah. a button up phase where I just body the the the, the, um, the button up. Mm -hmm. Then did like the the plaid shirts and all that. Then I had a cardigan phase. I was just mm -hmm. rocking cardigans all day. Mm -hmm. That was like a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was going through that. Yeah. So I was like, oh. so now it's just like. I make my own clothes, so yeah, keep it jiggy, keep it simple. <laughs> as long as it has the logo on it, that's yeah. the only brand I rock. I don't rock Gucci, Philly Prada. Yep. Don't look up my oh yeah, my belt's Timberland, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever, this is four one six. That's yeah. what you're right? <laughs> supposed to be. You know? Million fashion. That's it. You know, blase. Mm -hmm. You're a female ride that sassy. Yeah, you know? sassy. Yep. What did Jay Z say? Jay Z goes, Why should I drink velvet if Puffy got? Puffy got to rock. The same way I feel like clothes. I'm like, why should I rock anything else if my homie got a line? If I got yep. a line. Yep, straight. So what do you get? What do you get your um for fashion? I think we were talking yesterday. Uh, you were saying you get some of your um aspiration or inspiration oh. from uh Jim Gen Jones. Yeah, Jimmy, Fab. Mm -hmm. Get a f which one? Get a Fab, Fabulous, Low So like, cause it's like different versions of him. Or has he always just been like? I think he always did. Even when he had the jerseys. Yeah, like long jerseys like, with the do rag and. Those, <laughs> you, you could look all over the world try to find those jerseys. You can't find those. Mm -hmm. 
I was a Jersey fan. I was like, I was in high school. Yeah. Killing them. But we had, but we had um uniforms. Yeah. So the moment we had like a dress down day, that yeah. it was a movie. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it was a movie. Do you, you ever go through that um, long T thing? Remember, Yo, oh, um, M-I-Y-T. I had the most <laughs> amount of 4Xs in my closet <laughs> with the biggest hats ever. <laughs> oh, man. If I look, I look, like, I can look at pictures now, I'm like, that was it. But if I see yeah. that dude right now wearing that same thing, Wait. I will car him. Fashion police immediately. Yo, the funny thing is, though, some some people never left that face. You walk the street sometimes, you see man dressed like that, like they just came home. stuck in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the bin for like twenty years. Came back home. Wow, that, I guess that that could explain it. I could explain it. People like man, it's like Baka. They come out, they come back, and they just fresh. Maybe because they got Drake. I don't know. Yeah, Baka has a style. It's me. Mm-hmm. Just of course. One color. <laughs> Black. Black. That's it. Yup. What do you think of Baka, by the way? I want to hear more. Mm-hmm. I want to hear more. Out of what you've heard so far, what's. what's I think he's fire. He's a beast. We need that. Yeah. We need, I think, I'm not going to lie. I think everyone. Even the dudes that's that like, oh, we hard. We're in the streets. Like, you look at Baka. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Listen to his story. Yeah. He's a dope dude. Yeah. So it's like I think we need more real. Like he's a part of that that real like, like a fifty like yeah like a mino real so, talk yep yeah yeah man can't even cross the border like you know what I'm saying <laughs> but he's getting bags yep. he's getting mad bags yep. though well it's rocking with Drake you have to get back yeah he's getting super bags yeah. shots over here mm-hmm. send a bag over here <laughs> so today I was listening to the to um, Apple Music mm-hmm. the pharmacy. And they're talking about Chronic, the album, Dr. Dre's album. The first one or Chronic 2001? The first that came out, no, the first one. The first one came out in the 90s. Uh huh. That was, um. Yeah, the 90s, yeah. The first one that came out and it just like shook the streets. Yeah. See, that was a classic. What's your take on it, man? Classic, instant classic. I think that anything that Dre touches. He's a classic. Yeah. Anything he touches, because his, especially his own product, yeah. he's a boss. First yeah. million in the game. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Beats but, one. <laughs> I but play. I'm mad at him just like everybody else. Yeah. Where's the detox? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Detox right. is gonna be a classic. Man. So what do you do with the rice right here? It's basically it looks mad sexy. Right it up. Put everything in it, mix that down. You can talk about a little 16 and you can talk about right there. <laughs> okay, it's better than your your local Chinese food store, right? I can guarantee you that. Facts. And right now, like this right here, so what do you do with the, with the fish? You cut it in half, right? Yeah, I split it. What's, what was the plan with that? Like, why? Because that joint was huge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't fitting nowhere by itself. Uh-huh. So you have to split, they cut the head off paws. Yeah. They have to split down the middle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I um put it in the oven, seasoned it, well it was already meeting it, marinating it from yesterday. Yeah. So I put it in the oven separately, like one and then another one. Yeah. So I did it separately. Then after that one was done, put them together, yeah. put the beautiful garnishes on it, mm-hmm. and keep it funky. You feel me? Garnish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so back back to the music. So right now, um, if you were to say who's your okay, who's your top five all time, and who's your top five right now? Top five all time. Yeah. Tupac Shakur, The mm-hmm. King, uh, Busta Rhymes. Mm-hmm. Best performer of all time. Um, Did you ever open for him? No. Uh-huh. I would love to. Yo. Yeah. Anything Busta Rhymes on with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anything Busta Rhymes on with it. So Busta Rhymes. Um, Eminem. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yo, I, actually, before you continue, so they were playing this round the outside. Remember, remember the track? What's up? Oh, oh, everybody in the line outside. Yeah. Oh, which one? <laughs> Controversy, something, something, something. What's the rest of No, no, no. Uh, Eminem. Oh, this is me, this is me, and everybody in, because it gets so simple without me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, I was listening to it today, and then he was talking about how. 
try to kick him off MTV or something like that. But yeah, cause everybody he, needs controversy. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't. Maybe I wasn't in Canada at that time. But like, what was like? Educate the kids. Like, oh, what is he talking about in that song? It's basically because Eminem was a wild. He's a, he's a, he's a wild card. <laughs> yeah. So he would go places and just do man. You seen him? He was get. He was even dissing rappers. This guy was dissing like pop stars. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. So yeah. and talk about killing his mother. Talk about doing mushrooms. I mean millions of any product like the Eminem. See how there, see how there is like um Beyonce. Yeah. And the Beehive. Yeah. Eminem has his own cult following. Yeah, yeah. You know for sure. Saying? Yeah. So it's like when he talks about doing all this, of course, if he's wild, they try to ban him from certain spots. Yeah. 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 It's like Kanye, right? But yeah. like Kanye is like <laughs> Kanye is like Kanye on a different. <laughs> Kanye needs to sit down for a second. Okay, but Eminem like definitely one of the greatest. Yeah. So that was, then, that was um, Tupac, Buster Rhymes, Eminem, mm-hmm. uh, Nas. Nas for sure. That guy could murder any beat. Yes. I listened to the I listened to that one song where he rever- like rap backwards. Yes. Oh man. And I would say um. You didn't even include Biggie in there. Biggie is he's great, but he's not, he's my top ten, not top five. Okay, okay. And it's uh Drake. <laughs> nah, Jay. Jay, Jay Z. Yeah. Okay. What's it was the... either between Jay, Jada, and Jay Z. Okay. All right. Jay Z, like yeah, his body of work is. I know every Jay I mean, song. In yeah. Life. What's your favorite? My favorite Jay song. Yeah. Um, couple of long where I'm from, Marcy son. Ain't nothing nice. <laughs> what album is that from? Because he had like um, 20 that's albums. That's from In My Lifetime. Okay. Volume 1. Volume 2. Volume 1. That's the same drink when um, he had uh, Ain't No Nigga Like The Water on the same album. Mm. You know what I mean? Is that your favorite? Favorite, the, favorite yeah. album. For sure. Alright, so kids out there, if you want to learn real hip hop, those are the artists that you need to listen to. That's some real music. Alright, and now all this, this new stuff. Let's sell some good. I don't have top five new people. Nah? <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that bad. I think Jordan Lucas, Dave East. Tink. Dave East is a beast, but that, that's like, that's, that stems from Nas, because that's Nas artist, yeah. right? Yeah. Tink. Tink okay. is super dope. Mm-hmm. Um, tell, me, tell us a Tink song, because I don't think, I don't know if I've heard I don't even know a Tink song. I, like, off the top? Yeah. The When she murdered the Aaliyah record. One in a million. She did that record, and she did some other. Wait, what's the other record that? Yeah. Yeah. And there's an um. See, some of these new people, people will think they're new, but they're not new. Like Graph, like you know, Graph's been out for decades. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'll think like Jacquees. Mm-hmm. Um, Jacquees. He's on Love and Hip Hop right now. Yeah. And um, I feel like I didn't. I'm gonna go home and be like, oh yeah, that person. <laughs> next one, maybe maybe next session. So yeah. what's okay, what's the best best one right now that you think Jonah Lucas? Lucas. Yeah, the yeah. next kid. The next up. Yeah. Because I feel like like Dave East is already in the lane right now. He's already yeah. running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jack Quays, yeah. he, he's doing this thing. Everyone that I just called out, they're doing anything. Yeah. But Jordan Lucas, I feel like them at these two L's, I think they're trying to, they're, they want to see how much she can fight. Mm-hmm. Like, like, yeah, that kid is dope. Yeah, like, okay. So basically, yo, that's some music even I gotta start playing, you know? At Murder Mook. Murder Mook? Yeah. $500 bill? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm-hmm. So right now, you know, now let's get to some gossip right now. What's like five things you want to let the people know what's going on in the music business right now i know obviously joe budden personally one of my favorite rappers you know i've bumped in joe budden since salutation uh-huh when he was on desert storm Ooh, does it before is that before slaughterhouse or was that like no that was way before so that's in the 90s that's when yeah. cool had tapes uh, there was no CD, there was the CDs out, but yeah, yeah, yeah. tapes. Cassettes. Yeah. <laughs> when you had to use a pencil to make sure you... You know what I mean? Yo, I remember having to do that back in Tanzania still. So, <laughs> see, the kids, the kids, they're not about that. They just go on the iPhone right now yeah. and just... They look at CDs like, what the hell is that? Yeah, you know, exactly, even CDs. They've never been yeah, Joe Budden came from um, the Cold from Desert Storm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so Fab was already on there? Yeah. Okay. He had Fab, he had Buttons. 
So what's the originators of this? Yeah. Song? Them two? Yeah. Okay. I, I did it with the Duro. Damn. I'm a... Was it Duro? There's somebody else. Yeah. He's cool and somebody else. Okay. Then he asked. Yeah. No. Oh, there's a couple other people on, but that was cool. Remember, cool was signed on Rockefeller, uh -huh. the first platinum DJ. Yeah. And then um, I remember the the, the DMX um stop drop the remix came down. from came from DJ Clue. Oh, DJ Clue, oh man, that guy was like the man in the two yeah. thousands. Yeah. Okay. And in the nineties, ninety eight, when he did a professional part one, and professional part two. Yeah. I had those man. Mm -hmm. So right now Joe Budden, you know, like this man, I don't know how me and my boys used to always talk about her. How you get this baddest Yo, the <laughs> baddest, like I don't understand why. And then he falls in love with them and then like that's <laughs> like I don't know. Um what's her name? The one that's on love and hip hop right now? Tia um Tajari Tahari Tia what's the name? No, Joe Budden's old thing. Yeah, the one that's on love and hip hop. The Spanish to, 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 to Tiara, Tiari, Tiari, yeah, Tiari. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody already forgot about. Her. She beat, she um, he beat the shit out of her. Yeah, like, like fist, like Physical. in the fist. Oh Physical. damn. Physical. You wanna talk about good. Joe Bunny? Let's talk about how Joe Bunny got slaughtered by Owl in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can I find that on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. All right. And Eminem. It's the one that hosted the thing. He was fucking funded the whole thing. Yeah. And threw Joe Budden in there. And mm. then the judges were slaughterhouse. And he got the viral chewed up. <laughs> I'm like, yo. Jo sir. I don't know. Joe Budden is not. I don't know. He's, he's not really a, a battle he's rapper, a, but he, yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a good writer. Rapper, but battling is a different ballgame. Yeah. Like if you want to listen to some, I f I feel like. I, I feel like he was um, the Drake before Drake. Like he always had that yeah. emotional touch to his music, nah. but like more rap and never singing. He used to be addicted to pills. I like him for a rapper like bars. Bars wise, you can't take that away from him. Yeah. His opinion sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about his opinion. Is he still on Complex? He's gone, right? Well, they said he he left. Yeah. I don't know. He's too. I don't know. He's, he's kind of all over. He's working the game right now. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing his right now you can be emotional and be trending. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why yeah, and he just he just got his uh his new baby. Yeah, son. Yeah, his new son, yeah. 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 I see him dancing around the Christmas tree. Yeah, oh, like, the baby one yeah. 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 <laughs> that's love that that's the thing, right? Having remember we were talking about in the last episode, just yep. kids man, they change your life, right? Yeah. Alright, what else what else is going on right now that the kids need to know about? I don't know, I gotta look for my phone. What's what's possible right now? So you were talking about that that UFO. I know it has nothing to do with music, but like. Oh, that joint and um, <laughs> UFO joint. Yeah. A million, the billionaires playing with with toys and fascinating the shit out of America. Yeah. Everybody, everybody just gets scared so easily these yeah, days. The internet. You just say one thing. Yeah. And Remember, that's... every the first time I seen it, I follow I, I follow all like the celebrities like um Anthony Anderson and all that. Yeah. And then I realized the only people that really seen it yeah. were the rich motherfuckers that live in <laughs> Calabasas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah it was yep. Okay, all right. So I got a question for you. Now that and then the out. internet took that and blew that up. Of course, that's what the internet does. Instagram <laughs> and Snapchat, like the internet is deadly. So now that you talk about the internet, what do you think about all these YouTube rappers? I'm one of them, man. No, 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 like, <laughs> they're like YouTube, but like, you've been doing your thing for a minute. Like, these are like people that have been... No, they winning. <laughs> they winning. Whatever yeah. they doing, whoever's promoting them, yeah. holla at them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they winning right now. You can't not they hustle. I just not divide that everyone sounds the same. Yeah. Like, no one's original. Yeah. Everyone sounds like 21 Savage. Yeah, every, nah. Everyone, <laughs> everyone usually sounds like... Drake's old shit. When Drake started fucking with auto tune, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's the thing that they sound like. See, I feel to chase that, chase that sound. Yeah. See, I don't know, like. That's why I like rappers, I like niggas that spit. Yeah. Like say something, like say yeah. a story without the effects. You know what I mean? Because that's like poetry right there. It's like singers. Singers nowadays, you know. Yeah, baby. What you want? Baby, what's that dude that you like? The one from the start. Luke 
James. Like he mm-hmm. really sings. Mm-hmm. Like he's really singing. Yeah, yeah. And then like Breezy to me is like the fabulous R and B. But he, he's like he's like fabulous because he, he always stays relevant yeah. in any music that he does. But then again, he's still like the Mike Jack of music too right now. Like him and Usher. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, Usher like yo that kid. So when I so when I hear like. People playing with the auto tune or playing with that, that singing, pop a perky now, I'm running. It's 40 niggas in the hotel. Yeah. I'm like, what? Mad Hennessy. And bottles and just. Yeah, like, me. how much times we're gonna do this? <laughs> and yeah. every time it's like, it's the same story. Pop a perky now, I'm drinking. And then their belt is like. I bet you could make a track right now if you could. Yo, it might sleep. If, if you just want like that. <laughs> it might sleep. And it'll be number one. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a dumb, I'm, oh, not dumb record, a stupid record. <laughs> you did, do, you, you, your sister was telling me you did it one time, but and then flag. you went to the club, and, and then everybody hard. went off, yeah. I'm like, why is it hard? <laughs> <laughs> a record that I freestyle. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. But like, that's what they do, right? They just get drunk and just you gotta appreciate take pills, and <laughs> then just go into the booth and just talk. I'm gonna talk about Tyler Mall, Trago, Double Platinum. Who? I'm gonna try to talk about Pantai and Laws and. Pantai and Laws. We're gonna get up in there, man. I gotta get some money soon. The ones the poor kids can afford, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so right now, basically everything is just settling, you know? What's what's next right now? What's the, what's what's the next, next step? The chicken wing is cooking. Well, mm-hmm. damn, it'll be alright. Sheesh! You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get them with that color. Mm-hmm. Flip that, let it burn again. Flip mm-hmm. that, let it go again. I'll mm-hmm. make some, I'm gonna make some homemade sauce. Mm-hmm. And then save that beautiful thing for last. Mm-hmm. And then we're done. Alright, so we'll be back. You know, we're gonna pop all these things in the oven, make sure they're, they're well cooked. The good thing about fish, it's not like. It's not like um like chicken. Okay. So you're the you're the specialist. So mm. there's different levels of cooking different meats, right? Mm. So you got your fish which doesn't even really need to be cooked for you to consume it and your body will be okay. No, certain fish have to. Okay. But some fish you could just be like raw, like a, like how would they do meat, like a surf and dirt thing. Yeah, yeah. But salmon, you can have it any way you want. Yeah. But you know, we're black. <laughs> so, yeah. so like it's easy too. It doesn't take long. Yeah, like fish. Yeah, yeah, right. It doesn't take long. Yeah, um, but if you overcook it, oh man, then yeah. it is messed up. Yeah, a beautiful thing. Yeah, like that still looks good. It's still simmering, like yeah, fam. Yeah, still simmering. All right, and then and then chicken. Of course, you gotta make sure it's yeah, till it's white. Yeah, yeah. you gotta make sure that's well done. You don't want to get that salamella, salamella voice. Salamella. You don't want to get that. Uh huh. Ain't right. coming back from that. They ain't got that pill yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then steak. Steak, it's just steak like, is just like see, it depends how you want it. Cause yeah. I like mine's medium well. Yeah. But I used to like it medium well. Yeah. Shout out to my best friend. <laughs> um, you sear it. Yeah. You sear it. Then you let it rest. Mhm. When it rests, it naturally gives itself, you know what I mean? Naturally yeah. gives itself. Yeah. And if, but if you're gonna make like a pepper steak or a roast, yeah. then it takes, uh, roast take like a, a hour, two hours, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna take time. So here's one thing I struggle with, right? Whenever I make steak, right? And let's say I have some leftover, mm-hmm. right? And the next day, like, you either I guess gotta grill it, but like, let's say I wanna take it to work, mm-hmm. or I just wanna make it at home, right? What can you do with that steak? Because I've heard people saying like, okay, you can make, um, you know, some soup with it. You know, just like cook it. Like, what what do you do with like the leftover steak? Uh, my favorite food is rice. So the first thing I run to is just, uh, fried rice. Real African right here. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> stir fry. But with steak, you can use um, also burritos. Uh huh. Never drinks, thought of that. Salad. Okay. Burritos. Yeah. A soup. Yeah. Like a like a you can do some ghetto fo. I call it ghetto fo. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, it's yeah. Okay, so Sandwiches. we'll give you guys some ideas soon. Time, you know, since some episodes coming up, we'll make some steak. You know, yeah. we'll do that in the next one, and then we'll have some leftover and leftover. Sure we'll make something with that. Done. Yo, that's even with the salmon. Remember, I cut the head off. Yeah, and I said I'm gonna show you what to do with uh-huh. it. Uh huh. Make some fish heads. This is not. The... These guys think this is it. This is this is not even half. <laughs> and I'm even ready to see whatever what else is on the table. Yeah, a lot going on. Yeah, this is the thing, yo. When you're Jamaican household, African household, 
You get food. You get yeah, real you food. Get fed. You know, like yeah, not switch, man. not no switch LA every nah. every single year. <laughs> Same <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> the real food. You know what I mean? All right. So, it's episode two. All right. Episode three. We're just gonna see what the rest of the family brought. You know, we're gonna see the final product. Then you gonna get. You gonna yeah. see us digging in. You know. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you know, <laughs> we'll hook you guys up. Final product. We got the bread right here. Chef, how do you call this? Not a bread. Cheese. <laughs> Heart attack. Boom. <laughs> Next, we got some curry chicken made by moms. Some chicken wings made by Chef Tail. Some shrimp fried rice made by Chef Tail. Some Norwegian salmon, you know, some veggies. I don't know if I'm gonna get that cauliflower, but you know, we'll see. Some lasagna made by moms. Some healthy stuff. Pasta salad. You got strawberry, spinach salad, yes. and mixed See, we don't discriminate in this family. If you're a vegan, you got you got your salads. If you want to eat some fish, we got your fish. You want some chicken wings like myself? You got some chicken wings. Like, fam, it's out here. And now it's time to eat. It's like an assembly line over here. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I'll share one with you. No. <laughs> I don't know, this food's too good to share still. <laughs> You're talking about ch- cheating and eating a chicken. Oh. <laughs> you might have to still. It's like one. It's, it's Christmas Eve, you know? You're allowed. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Alright guys, happy holidays, whatever you visit, whatever you celebrate. We love y'all. Love okay. y'all. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Celebrate Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. Celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever you celebrate is all love, you know? From the Elwood al Banlay family to yours. Yeah, I've done enough of this video taken, I'm about to go munch on this food. Can't forget about the Lewises. <laughs> the who? The Lewises. Oh, the Lewises. The okay. tribe of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to get something to, to take the thing out.